When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AKA Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're looking at another claim from Eric Dubay's 200 proofs Earth is not a spinning ball. This time we have 112. Dubay claims, the sun brings noon to every time zone as it passes directly overhead every 15 degree demarcation point 24 times a day in its circular path over and around the earth. If time zones were instead caused by the uniform spinning of the ball earth around the sun every six months as earth found itself on the opposite side of the sun, clocks all over the earth would have to flip 12 hours. Day would be night and night would be day. Okay, this is a fun one. I've done this one on video before, but I'll happily cover it again. I like this one because at first glance, it seems to make sense. Here, I'll show you with some real objects. The claim is basically this. If you have the sun here and the earth here, and this position is noon with the sun directly overhead, the thought is, if the earth is spinning 360 degrees, in 24 hours, like this, and this, and this keeps going on 24 hour period after 24 hour period, as the Earth goes around the Sun, its position every 24 hours would be getting more and more offset with the position of the Sun in the sky. Until eventually, six months later, the position we call noon here would be midnight over here. And that would be true if 24 hours is how long it took for the Earth to spin 360 degrees. But it's not. Yes, I know, we tend to say that the Earth rotates at 15 degrees per hour, but that's because it's easier than saying the Earth rotates at 15.041 degrees per hour. No, the time it takes for the Earth to rotate 360 degrees is called a sidereal day, and it's 23 hours, 56 minutes, and about four seconds. The 24 hour day, known as the synodic day, is the time it takes from the sun being directly overhead of a spot on the earth to the time when the sun is directly over that spot again. And that takes a little more than 360 degrees rotation. Here, I'll show you in a very exaggerated way. Here is the Earth again, with the Sun directly overhead at a point on Earth. Over a period of time, the Earth moves along its orbital path. At 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds, it has rotated 360 degrees. At 24 hours, give or take some number of seconds, the Earth rotates a little bit more until the Sun is directly over that spot again. This is a synodic day or a solar day. These solar days keep repeating. Solar day, solar day, solar day, solar day, until six months later, 182 days later, the Earth is on the other side of the sun and high noon with the sun above the same spot it is right here. Day and night have not switched. Someone started up their weed eater. Now, regular viewers might be expecting me to say something disparaging about Dubay and his followers being dumb, but I'm not going to this time because I've said it before and we all know that to be a fact, but mainly because this claim actually makes logical sense if the accepted model of the Earth said the Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. If you take that as a fact and take logical steps after that, this claim is where you end up. But since it's based in a flawed assumption, the logic of the other steps don't matter. And that first falsehood can be an honest one. After all, that is the popular understanding. I would venture to say that there are more people that believe that the rotation of the Earth of 360 degrees in 24 hours is a scientific fact 
than those who understand that to be a simplified approximation that's easier to remember than 360.98 whatever degrees. Every globe proponent on the internet will say 360 degrees, 15 degrees per hour, unless they are forced to be precise. I'm having to get louder and louder because of this. <laughs> so I'm not going to deride anyone if they say it or even think that that's true. But if you're going to try and revolutionize a field of science, you don't get to rely on the information you learned in high school. You have to be willing to go the extra mile, do the extra work to be precise and know exactly what the accepted model says if you're going to claim that it doesn't hold. Until next time, peace. No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.